y'all welcome back to another tutorial guys so we've got this beautiful style again so we've done quite a few tutorials on him before he's got a low amount of contrast plenty of texture with grain it's just super smooth as well and then a lot of blue tones a lot of orange tones and then lots of green tones sometimes so blues on the right oranges in the middle light blue or green on the left gonna be trying to recreate these shots here go across one and uh, one of these shots as well low contrast the blacks are kind of dark in these shots and then there's grain and there's warm tones bringing out those bluish warm tones um, and then those skin tones as well trying to create something like this plenty of well not plenty there's a decent amount of fade to the blacks and then it's just overall really really smooth like that transition super smooth uh go give him a follow down in the description he'll be linked up down there and anyone inside of the course has access to the raw images to follow along in this tutorial right so Make sure you join up to the course so you can follow along in this tutorial and like countless others. We've got heaps and heaps of YouTube tutorial raw images for you guys inside the course. So first off, we'll try to recreate this one over here. And then we will try to recreate another one of these images over here, this one here. So we'll start off with this one. We're trying to recreate this top left image here. So. Uh, settings 35 millimeter shot in the sigma art 2.8 shutter um, nothing too special going on with the settings we will start trying to get these blue greenish warm tones so we'll start off with so he's white balanced in camera probably for his shirt we'll go bring up the warmth so this is just going to be for style reasons not for white balance reasons it's got it nice and warm a low amount of contrast to a style so we're gonna to have to turn the curves on for a lot of this to make sense what we've got here is so we've got this curve that's going to give that fade to the whites uh, a bit of a pop to those mids and then a darkish blacks and then just a slight fade to those darkish blacks okay this curve here is responsible for most of the Mac in the image and then as for color channels we don't have anything going on for this one so it's literally just these so i'll turn these off and on it just gives a bit of a mac to the entire image um i'll show you these again maybe further on through the edit and then i can explain a bit more what they're doing so we obviously need like more punch to highlight your white shirt and stuff like that so we'll bring up those highlights here Right, so like shadows for more contrast. Um, overall exposure. Okay, let's bring down that contrast. More dark blacks. More shadows. And then not too much pop. Keeping it kind of flat by bringing those whites down. Okay. Okay, so exposure is pretty good. So like there's before, there's after. Now we've got that fade in the blacks and now we've got a fade to the whites a bit and we are properly exposed up top. So now we've got a nice Mac going on and we can start playing with colors a bit more. Well, while we're here, we'll do clarity as well. So I reckon his image has got a bit of crispness and a lot of texture to it. So we'll go with that. Dehaze. Dehaze helps crush those blacks a lot. Well, makes makes them dark. Um, I'm not sure. It's hard to describe what it does, but I think we'll run with it. Here's lots of color to his images. We're gonna go vibrance and saturation. Okay, so what we will also do is just enable profile corrections because we want the image nice and bright, not too much vignetting. Okay, so for color, I'd say the first thing we need to do is cool off the image a lot so for shadows we're gonna go for a nice blue but there's not much blue in the image I guess there is in the in the leaves but we'll cool off the image really balance those warm tones we put in with the temperature slider yeah that's good and then as for the highlights we want to bring out more of these warm tones like we did did with the uh, the slider of the temperature but we'll, we'll also do that here okay so we're just gonna pick a nice orangey yellow we'll add lots in and then 
pretty much the rest will be with HS cells and then just getting these tones that we've got. So obviously we need to like get these tones to the greens. They're probably the most important tones. So I'm going to desaturate the greens. Okay. And that sort of turns them into this yellowish green and it really brings out the blues that we added into the shadows. Okay. It, it lets it lets the shadows we added here just stand out a bit more if we take out the saturation here and then that gives us a soft soft bluish greens that look quite nice yellows will do the same you can see how all those blues are coming out if we do this a little bit oranges now brightness is going to be a big one so Let's go to luminance. We obviously like want to make our image pop, nice and warm. So let's go luminance for yellows as well. And then oranges. Reds. We can drop a bit. There's not too many reds in this. Might drop it a bit more. So luminance, brightness of colors. Again, okay. so saturation skin tones pop quite a bit um, there's not many blues in this maybe a tiny bit back there purple and magenta can pretty much stay there I think right reds there is quite a bit of reds in the skin tone but not much in this image let's bring it up a little bit okay so uh, hue so we're gonna change a few of these colors so probably the most obvious one is the skin tone earlier i found it a little bit hard to get the richness of the skin tone so what i do sometimes is just move this i'm going to move this to the left and just introduce more reds into the skin tones and then i should be able to get more reds out of the skin tones with uh playing up here and stuff like that so we'll go 21 yep yellows this is a, this is a touch yellows in the skin tones i'm gonna go for this nice bluey yellow um greens warm them up a touch there's not many aquas also if you look at his other photos you definitely there's definitely a few teals just take out a few of those blues um, we'll go sharpening for a sec just a, just a bit nothing major because we do have quite a bit of clarity so we'll keep this kind of low and then we want grain definitely want grain for this but Lightroom has, has this new update where you like can't see the grain in your image it's very annoying so until you export it like once you export it this would be insanely grainy I exported it at 70 or something but at the moment we can't really see what it's doing but um yeah a bit of grain would add lots of texture and really pull in the entire image together hold the image together so I would definitely add grain to this um, yeah we'll just run with something like that for now but yeah it'd look way better if we had if this actually worked at the moment you guys can't see it until I export it for some reason I think we are good. We could do with maybe a touch more warmth. Uh, we'll just run with that. Um, because we do have some purples creeping into those greens that we don't really want. But So what I could do is pull out a bit of these blues. Bring in a bit more warmth into the shadows. And then maybe if just a touch more greens into the shadows. Anyway, I think we're pretty close. So what we'll do, we'll go copy, copy everything. We'll grab, we'll grab these as well. We'll come over to this image. So now we're trying to recreate pretty much the same environment, different shot though. It will require a different, different edit. So we sort of get those greens straight away. We probably just need to really bring down saturation of a lot of things. Uh, 
um, for exposure. Um, shadows, we just want to see more of them. Maybe highlights. Contrast. Bit more pop. could probably bring down the warmth for this one okay so if we gonna bring out the clarity a bit more for this one and then if we just work with the colors a bit more we should be able to get pretty close maybe less yellows Or reeds, so a lot of the colors are in the skin tones, uh, in the reeds for the skin tones. More pinks. More oranges. What I might do is just add a bit more blue, shift it to a bit more of a green. So for this one, I might take out the redness down here. Let's come back up. And let's just drop saturation. It's just crop. Might make it easier. Touch more greens into the shadows. And you just want those blues to show a bit more in there too. It's like a bluey green in the shadows. for a shirt and the amount of detail we can see shadows up and you can see there's like a touch of blue and it's here I don't think we've got any blue in here oh, just in the shirt which we don't want take out the redness in his face a bit I think we're pretty close if if we had our grain sorted look how smooth this image looks compared to this one this one this one obviously need, has lots of grain we can't yeah we sort of got that little bit of teal in there we're sort of missing it from his hair a bit maybe in the curves you could do something like there's actually a tiny adjustment here in the blues I, pro I didn't show you actually so what um, this curve is going to do is just add in more blue towards the highlights especially okay so let's just watch how his shirt changes so if I reset this and now everything looks a little too warm and unbalanced and now his shirt gets a little bit of blue back and it takes out a bit of that warmth um, we added in up here so that's all that curve's doing. And I was just thinking we could add in a bit more into like the blacks. Ever so slightly. Something like that. And then actually maybe take a bit more out. So the shirt does go a bit warmer if I take a bit out. And then I think that's probably cooled off our skin tones a bit. purples touch more blue in the shadows maybe I 
Um, the background's probably too bright. Bring the greens down a bit. And we'll keep that luminance of the skin tones up. Yeah. Exposure. It's probably a bit more fade to the image as well. Like looking at the camera and stuff. Lift this up a bit. Okay, I think we're pretty close. I think, yeah, just missing that grain is really, really annoying me. But otherwise, pretty similar. Touch more blues. So here's our before and after. And here's it not cropped. Yeah, uh, before, after. It's maybe a bit too bright when it's like that. Uh, and then back to our first one. So our first one, before, after. So if you guys want the biggest collection of presets in the world and actually know how to use them, then join the course because not only is it that you get countless presets, but you will know how to use them because I teach you everything I know about doing these tutorials, how to balance colors, how to create the contrast, how to work with the curves, especially. You get the raw image, the preset, and the tutorial from countless other professional photographers. We've got Robin, we've got Kyle Volgers, we've got um, the Freedom Complex. We've got so many awesome creators and getting that raw image is really, really important. That's why I'm trying to get them for, for these YouTube tutorials as well. So yeah, join over 500 of us over there inside of the course. You guys won't regret it. It's the most in-depth, laid out, structured way to learn photo editing. Get the raw images, get the same results as these really professional photographers get the results you guys are after to your images and get your feeds looking super super nice so do me a favor and keep commenting people you want to see featured on this youtube channel helps me a ton otherwise i can't really uh, find people otherwise so keep commenting people i'll catch you guys in the next one